What's up? Welcome back to my loft. I'm Ryan. Welcome to this week's spaceship vlog. Let's get into it. So we're going to start off with what I wore because this week and this month in particular, my birthday month, I really stepped into myself and my own. If you didn't notice, my hair is red now. My style is more reflective of who I am now. I am fashioning an identity for myself through the lens of who I really am. I do not feel defeated. I do not feel lost. I do not feel without self the way that I felt for so many months, especially in the spaceship vlogs. And I think that shines through this week. So let's get into what I got done. So throughout the week, I was finishing the care package that I was making for a friend. And here's some of the stuff that went into it. The rest of it is personal and private, but you'll see throughout the video that I made it. I also received this amazing gift of these beautiful, beautiful garments from one of my favorite designers. We'll all link below as well. And it was just a really, really good week, a really, really transcendent month thus far, and I tried to get a lot done. So I started on this like productive streak because I set a regimen for myself, 8.30 to 5.30 work schedule, where I set up what I'm supposed to do the next day, the night before, and have like expectations for myself and an accountability list. And that really helped me. And during that time, I was able to start sewing some stuff. These are some of the pieces that didn't work out, but I'm really happy with, so I'll probably be wearing them to the club. And obviously not styled in any of these ways, but uh, I really like the stuff that I made so far. And I've been getting more into art and making art and expressing myself through art. And that's what I find that these pieces are. So I'm really happy about it. Here's what I got done this week. Obviously just working, but I wanted to tell about what happened on my birthday. Um, this scene in this vlog is probably the most integral, which is the 50 bazillion terabyte tower that my dad got me. That would have saved me from the horror of my birthday. So let's jump into my birthday story. Okay, so this is the story of my birthday. I guess we'll do a different hairstyle. Not really, though. I think I'm just going to redo this. So this was the story of my birthday. So my birthday was in the beginning of October. Important to remember, Mercury was retrograde and had recently gone retrograde, as far as I remember. Right in, like, the beginning of October, end of September, right? I think. And so Mercury is retrograde. It's my birthday. I plan on having at least like five or six celebrations of my birthday this month. So far I've done three. I have another one planned for the end of the month and another one planned for the end of the month. So that's five. I need to just secure the sixth, but whatever. So I'd already had my birthday dinner with my friends and it was a really nice time. And so I was like, okay, ooh, here's a really important side note. I never celebrate my birthday on my actual birthday. I always celebrate my birthday at the end of October, even though my birthday is right at the beginning, because I feel like my birthday is bad luck. I told someone this recently and they were like, are you okay? I was like, no, but that's not the point. I really do just don't like celebrating my birthday on my birthday, whatever, I just don't like it. So I didn't want to celebrate my birthday on the actual date this year, especially because I knew my friend was coming in town and we were going to celebrate my birthday not on the day of, but I have a friend who has the same birthday as me. I actually have a friend who has the same birthday as me and a friend whose boyfriend has the same birthday as me and I was like, huh? And one of them said that they met someone else with that same birthday and I was like, what? And I've met a lot of people whose birthday this year is this one day after mine. I'm like, why is this happening? Love it. Love meeting Libras though. So my friend's birthday is the same day as mine. And I was like, oh my God, I would love to celebrate my birthday with her. And thankfully she reached out to me and was like, do you want to celebrate our birthday together? Like, do you want to come out with me? And I was like, oh my God, she's so cool. She's the best. And I was like, awesome. Yes. And so the plan was to have dinner and then go to the club. And so I'm like, cool, but like, I'm having trouble picking a place. I don't remember why, but I think I was like doing something that day as well. Like, I think I had like a deadline for something. And so I like was kind of disengaged from responding and we were both busy because we were both getting ready. Oh, I had dyed my hair red that day. That's what it was. And so I was really busy. I had like to dye my hair and like change my entire style. So <laughs> I like transformed on that night, literally like a werewolf. It was a lot. But so she's like, oh, where should we eat? And I can't think of where to eat. And I didn't know which club we were going to. So I, did, I was trying to pick places in Manhattan. She's like, let's stay in Brooklyn. I'm like, okay. So she picks a place that we should go to in Brooklyn out of our, her list, not our list, I didn't do anything to compile that list, her list of restaurants she wanted to try. And I'm like sick. But I'm like in contact with my mom. She's like, what are you gonna do tonight? I tell her, she's like, oh, that's so fun, have fun, babe. I'm like, thanks, love ya. She's like, cool. Um, 
but she, but I'm giving her updates. I'm also telling her like, I'm dying my hair. How does it look? Does it look good? What do you think? I'm like, what about this outfit? I'm pretty sure we were on FaceTime because I'm like, mom, what about this outfit? She's like, yes, yeah, you look cute. I was like, thanks. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, it's building the anticipation. Can't wait, can't wait. I'm like, cool. I'm gonna call a car to the place. I'm gonna meet up with my friend at the place together. So I call the car. I head into the car. I'm still in contact with my mom. I have to reply to every Instagram message saying happy birthday. All of my text messages from my friends. I'm like watching my friend's story that are celebrating me and I'm like, wow, like what a life I live. Like, you know, getting very much like, wow, like, oh my God. You know, I was just doing all of that, getting very dramatic into it. I don't know what happened other than Mercury was retrograde, but I'm on my phone and like all my apps start loading really slow. So I'm like swiping out of them, like, don't be annoying. What's the thing? Don't do this to me. I'm like, don't do this to me. Uh, telepop music, don't do this to me again. Even though that's never happened to me, but everything is getting really sticky and really slow. And you know how when things get sticky and slow on your phone, you're like, oh, I know what to do. Oh, it's not showing. Whenever my phone gets slow, I'm like, oh, I, I didn't realize I had 800. This is real too, this is real. I didn't do this for the video. I had that many apps up. So I start trying to swipe stuff up and nothing is moving. I'm like, that doesn't happen. Like if you swipe it up, it goes. So I'm like, let me delete some apps. It's not letting me delete apps. I'm like, let me delete some podcasts. It's not letting me delete podcasts. I'm like, let's delete some photos and videos because I want to take some photos and videos tonight. It's my birthday. It's not letting me. I'm like, okay, that's weird. And so I'm like, I don't know what to do. And so I'm like, let me reset my phone so I can text my mom back because I also can't open the messages. So I shut my phone off on the like reset button though. So I like hold it down and it's resetting. While I'm like resetting my phone, I'm still like in the car with my new red hair, like still trying to adjust to like who I am as a person now, um, since the transformation and the surgeries and the update on my system and my hardware and whatever, and my software as well. So I'm trying to adjust to my software update with my new red hair and my new life and my new personality and my new look. And the Uber driver is like, oh, there's something going on up there and I'm like, Okay, I don't know why that like affects you in the car because I like didn't understand what was happening But I saw a police siren or sorry a police light flashing and I was like, I don't know what's going on Whatever though, like let's let's drive like let's go and he's like driving Like slowly and like inching up further and further. He's just like muttering to himself and talking to himself and I'm like Let's go like let's go. He's like oh, we just can't get through there and I'm like, huh? And he's like, yeah, we can't get through there. You're probably gonna have to get out. And I'm like, huh? My phone's resetting. I'm about to like text my mom. I'm like, oh, this is so stupid. And he's like, yeah, you're gonna probably have to get out. And I'm like, being dead silent. Cause I'm like, I don't want to, I don't know where the Uber is. And now my phone is off and like resetting right now. Like, I don't know where the, the location of the restaurant is. You're driving me to the location, drop me off and I'll go. Like, what are you doing? But we're close, but I'm still just like, I don't know where it is. It's nighttime, by the way. It's like 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. or so when I'm getting out of, the, or like when I'm getting, or while I'm in this Uber, and so I'm just like, huh? And he's like, yeah, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to get out here, like they won't let me go through, and it's like police and flashing lights and all this stuff, and I'm like, okay, I'm just like frazzled. I usually stand up for myself really well against, not against, but I usually stand up for myself really well in service context, but here I was just like, I don't know. It was weird. And so I'm getting out of the car, my phone's still resetting, and I'm just like, this is so weird. And I start looking on my phone so I can see if I can go on Google Maps to find the restaurant, but my phone is stuck on the Apple logo. Like it's about to turn on to the home screen, but it's stuck on the Apple logo. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to stand around looking at my phone in the middle of the night in Brooklyn, so I'm just gonna start walking. So I start walking and pumping it to the restaurant where I think the restaurant is. And I'm just staying on one side because I remembered it was on the right of where he dropped me off. And I'm like looking up at all these places, but just like when I had the difficulty finding the fabric place I couldn't really focus on the words that were in front of me because my brain was a little frazzled and overwhelmed but then I walk up to the restaurant and I'm like okay this is definitely it and it's like a bar slash restaurant so I go into the bar slash restaurant I'm frazzled because my phone is still on the apple screen and it's been like that since I was in the car and I'm like well I was in the middle of texting my mom and my friend who's supposed to be meeting me here I need to be able to tell them I'm at the restaurant I got through the uber safe I'm fine where are you to my friend and tell my mom I'm fine and I'm safe and like, my phone's not turning on. I just had to walk out of the Uber by myself. I also don't know if he's still running the car for the price, you know, for the full price, because he didn't drive me all the way to the restaurant. I had to walk. 
And so I'm like, is he charging me the full price or did he finish the ride? I don't know because I can't check my phone and see if the ride ended. And I know that I'm going to go out and drink tonight, so I'm not going to remember it the next day. And I'm not saying I'm trying to like take his two or three pennies. I'm just saying like, I don't know. He could drive to freaking Manhattan and charge me $34 and it could charge me and I have to get the money back. Like, I don't know. So I'm just like, all of this is going through my head. And I'm also frazzled. Like what was happening back there that he had to let me out? Did he really have to let me out or he just didn't want to drive there? Was this a conspiracy against me? And at the same time, I'm like, and I know for a friend, for a fault, what? At the same time, I'm like, I know for a fact my friend is walking to this restaurant and probably can't find it and would text me and be like, hey, like, where are you? And like, which way is it? Because like, that's what I would do when I was getting out of a car by myself at night in Brooklyn to meet someone. I'd be like, oh, where is it? Is it this place? I don't know. Like, you know, so I'm like, oh God. And she's new in town. So I'm like, oh God, I'm the worst friend ever. So I'm like, okay. So all of this frazzledness is happening and I'm like, I'm walking up to the bar. I'm pretty sure I already had my mask on. Oh yeah, I definitely did. It says in the car. But the lady's like, oh, do you have a vaccination card? Cause I start like putting my stuff down on the bar and she's like, do you have a vaccination card? I was like, of course. But I'm like, I have on this big leather, not big, but I have, a, I have on a leather jacket. My hair is like a million inches long and just freshly dyed. So I'm just scared to like touch anything on it. Cause I know that there's a lot of red pigment in it and there's just so much happening and like my head is spinning and it's my birthday and my phone won't turn on i'm just like yes i have a vaccination card i don't know who are you and i'm like thank you uh, she is back i'm like thanks i don't know and i like sit down and i'm like i don't know what to do so i just give her my card and i'm like can i have a shot like i don't know i don't know what else to do <laughs> i should have ordered us both shots but i just was too frazzled and i was also really scared that my friend was texting me saying um just so you know we're not meeting at that restaurant anymore let's meet somewhere else, which would have, it was, I was so stressed and worried about that. I was like, she could easily just be like, hey, like I decided I don't want to meet there. Can you come to such and such? And then I'm not responding and then she's stuck and I'm stuck. And then she wouldn't want to leave that place because she just sent that. And um, I don't know. I just kept thinking like, she's going to say, let's go somewhere else. And I'm not going to be able to see it. And I'm going to be sitting here all night on my own birthday. And so I'm so stressed out. And then she like burst through the door and I'm like, okay, okay, everything's fine. Then I looked down on my phone and it's still on the Apple logo and I'm like, bro, what? Like, <laughs> what's happening? Like, what is happening in this moment? Like, it was really, really, I'm like, it's been like 20, like 15 minutes or so, like, come on. But I'm just sitting there. There's so many people, not so many people, but there's a few people in the bar. They're like screaming. They're like talking about sports, whatever sports on TV. They're arguing. Everybody's faces are bright red. And I'm just like completely out of it like everything is too much at once and my friend sits down and we're talking and we're chatting for a bit and I'm like I'm so sorry I couldn't text you and tell you that I was here like or respond to your text like my phone's broken and I show her and she's like oh my god so weird I was like right so then we start gossiping talking whatever so then we start talking and whatever and I'm like actually for sorry to interrupt but like can I send a photo to my mom to prove to her that I'm safe because I know she's really worried um and so we send the photo and my mom's like relaxed and I'm like cool back to business I looked out at my phone and it's still broken like my phone is still on the Apple logo. I'm like, but it's been like an hour. Like at that point it had been like 40 minutes or so. Like my friend and I were talking, she, she sends the photo to my mom. We start talking again. We order drinks, we order food and it's still on the Apple logo. She's like, you should give it to the bartender to put on her charger so that like maybe that'll fix it. She puts it on her charger and I'm like, thanks. Um, so she puts it on the charger. The bartender puts it on her charger. and I'm like, cool. And I'm just sitting there thinking like, a lot of people are texting me saying happy birthday right now. They probably think I'm being the B word because I'm not responding. And I literally just physically cannot respond. I physically can't. Like my phone's broken. And like just generally, I just feel bad that like people are, or just like, ugh, my phone is not working. At this point in the night, when I give the phone to the bartender, I'm like, this is so much fun that we're eating and drinking together, but there's no way I'm going to a club without a working phone. I'm like, we're not going to we're not going to the club without a working phone. Like I'm not depending on my friend and putting pressure on her, you know, to make sure that we can get through the night together. And I don't have a phone because what if someone steals her phone and then she's in danger because she's with me and I don't have a working phone. This is so much fun that I'm having this time with her, but I guess we're not going to go to the club. And like, I'm not telling her this, but I'm just like, I'm not going to the club. I'm not going to the club without a working phone. But I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like, it'll be so fun. Like, when I get my phone back, if I see the Apple logo, we are not going to the club. 
Um, but yeah, we sit, we eat, we drink, we finish our meal. And she's like, oh, we need to head over to the club soon because like there was something happening. Like people that she knew had something going on. And I was like, oh, wow. And so we head, we pump it, whatever, to the club. And she's so funny. I'm like dying laughing so much that I forget that I'm not supposed to go to the club with a not working phone. But I'm like, oh my God, yes. And I don't say anything, but I'm like, girl, like I'm probably gonna have to go home. Like I'm thinking like I'm gonna have to go home the moment we get in there because at least I know how to walk home to my house from that club. Um, but we're, she's making me laugh so much and we're like talking about Halloween costumes and stupid stuff and we're like giggling and whatever. And we're on the way. And then we were saying like stupid stuff, like watch my phone turn on and then we're fine. And she's like, right? And then my phone turned on. Can you imagine? Like it literally was something stupid like that or like, if my phone would turn on, she's like, period. Or like, yeah, and then it like turns on and I'm like, oh, we're lit. Like, <laughs> heaven, angel, sister vibes. Like, have you ever heard of anything like that? It's both of our birthday. We jokingly say something about how my phone won't turn on and it magically turns on. Mm, pretty suspicious to me, sis. So my phone turns on while we're walking over and it turns on and it works fine and I can text everyone back and be like, thank you guys so much for happy birthday wishes. Mom, I'm fine, I'm safe. I can go on TikTok and watch useless videos while I like, you know, I'm in the bathroom or whatever. And yeah, we get to the club, we have a good time at the club. It's a great time, loved it. Live, laugh, love, have fun. Everybody at the club was very nice. Um, sorry if anybody saw me at the club on my birthday and I was like weird, but like I, I was having a great time and I thought everybody was very nice to me. I don't have any other tea to share than that. So yeah, that was my birthday and it was so much fun and that was the story. So that's what I also have been up to. I think three reasons why I have a much different disposition in this video are one, fashioning an identity for myself is super important to me in rebuilding my self-esteem and my intrinsic motivation to live and share and create. I was always a really naturally happy person and a naturally really confident person in a lot of ways. And being able to rebuild that confidence like makes me feel super ultra powerful. And I do that through working to passion and identity for myself. I'm still like channeling it through a really specific, clear lens and working toward that. But I would always recommend, it's like when people are like, you know when you're in a depressive episode and then you dye your hair, it's not like the dying of your hair, it's the having control of the way that you present yourself because you feel like you can not only control the way that you fashioned an identity, but also control the way that you're perceived. And I think that that's a huge turning point for me. To dedicating my life to service is really important to me and working toward, like I mentioned in the other Spaceship blog, larger, more global commitments to society rather than introspective commitments to myself and my art. And three, committing to education. I don't know if I'm going back to school to get a more formal education, but committing to learning about the arts and biological sciences this last few months has been super transformative for me. And I really would like to continue to study biological science and other forms of art and design and how those interconnect because it's so important to my ethos and practice in art. And I didn't realize that like learning is the primary focus that I have in life for the rest of my life like I want to be a teacher so I can always hear and learn and grow as a person and I think that that's why I feel a lot better lately and I don't think that I would ever be able to get to this point if I were not transparent about my experiences rather than stifling them and pretending that they didn't happen to me and I'd always recommend that and I always I would always recommend that you communicate and commit to yourself in healthy and fulfilling ways. Keep empowering yourselves through DIYing, sharing your thoughts, and creativity. I love you all so much. Have a great day. Bye.